All right, folks. Oh, look, got my sunglasses up there. Okay. Well, I'm going to tie a couple flies. One I've been having a little bit of luck on. Somebody asked me how they wanted a closer look at that fly. I think that was... Uh, Fellow lives out in Ledbetter. It's getting older, it's rough. <laughs> but anyway, oh my god, I can't remember the name. Y'all find that happening? Can't remember people's names. Talk about it, and of course, you got a dog at the door, scratching the door. Um, oh my god, come on, Ben, what's the frick, what name? What's the name? Hang on, let me find out. Alright, I had to go back and look to see what, uh, who made that comment. That was Jim Holmes up there in Ledbetter. He said, I would like to get a closer look at that fly. So, I'll do you one better. I'll tie another one. It's really not anything special. I believe that one was tied on a size 4. Aberdeen hook. These are simple. 50 of them for about five dollars maybe. I don't even think it was that much. Eagle claw. A crappie hook what it is. Like I said, it's a simple fly. So here you go, Jim. Here's your fly. <laughs> Here's your fly. <laughs> that sounds like somebody else I know. Let's see, I'm going to flatten that bar a little. There we go. Always do that first. If you're going to flatten the bar, do it first because sometimes these cheap hooks break. Lucky, get away from that door. Alright, we're going to use chartreuse thread so it has a chartreuse head. Basically, you thread up that hook. You come back. Oh, about a quarter inch from the end here. Actually, let me redirect this thing so you can see what I'm doing. There you go. All right, stay focused right there, camera. About a quarter inch. I'm going to give it silver eyeballs. If I had gold, I'd use gold. But since I got a gold hook, that ought to be enough gold. Uh, this particular fly didn't work real well yesterday, Monday evening at the dam. They had cut the flow, and that changed what the fish were doing and where. And it must have changed what they were hitting, what they were going after. Alright, first thing. First thing to do is to put the uh, eyes on there. And you take a bunch of this little flashy stuff. This is Christmas tree stuff. Lucky I'm going to kick your butt. Latch it on. Latch it back. Come forward. Now, I'm going to put a little more flash by wrapping this thing up and forward. And then I'm going to trim some of it back. All right. Boom. There you go. Um, and we get white bucktail. This stuff right here. See that bucktail? This is a natural one. A little bit of white. And this will end up on the very bottom of the fly. Actually, the flash is on the very bottom. <coughs> Tie that in. I've got a gray bucktail here. My buddy J Mo got that for me at Bass Pro, I think. Or Fishing Tackle Unlimited or some someplace like that down in Houston. Uh, I'm gonna even up the ends a little bit. That's just enough. Uh, you can stop with gray. Or do what I'm doing. I'm going to add blue after this. So we're going to strap this part on. And this is ugly. I 
I'll tell you what, it it doesn't seem to matter very much about the beauty of the fly. It is all about size and shape. Size and shape, it's got to look like whatever they're keyed in on. Because if it's, if it's too much different, we have experience, they will totally ignore it. Totally ignore it. It's bizarre. Alright. Clean that up a little bit. Now, I could leave this with just the white under the gray with the flash on the bottom. I'm going to take out some of this flash. You don't need much if the water's clear. That water in spillway is nice, rich, and green, but it is clear. I mean, you can see the shad, you can see the, the uh, white bass, too. All right, to top it off, I'm going to eat. I've got some blue, bright blue bucktail. And I, I think, I think we've discovered that it is the contrast between the colors that they see. Because on, on cloudy days, these darker flies work. Get all that together. And we'll turn it this way. Alright, now we're going to roll this around. I'm going to do a couple of loose loops to start with, and then I'm going to cinch it down. Carefully wrap this stuff together. And then I'm going to use a very loose wrap to go over the blue. I don't want to, you don't, you don't want it too tight because if you, if you tighten it too much, it causes the hair to flare. Alright, let me turn it back over. Refocus down here. Now you're just going to whip this thing. Whoa, shaking the whole bench. This is one ugly fly. Nice thread head. Whip a finish on there. A half hitch. And then whip it. A couple of rounds. We'll do it one more time just because. And there you have a perfectly good clouser type, bead chain clouser type fly. It's just layers, it's like every other fly. It's just layers of hair on top of a hook that's been got some flash on the body. So the, the lower part looks like the body. There you go, you get a good look at it. And when it gets wet, It'll smooth out like this. And I don't know if you can see that or not, but there's quite a bit of contrast between the top and the bottom of that fly. But anyway, that's the one we've had a little bit of luck with. Made nice and slim. It's about total length is about two and a half to three inches. It does run hook up. These hooks do okay catching or hooking. All right, now I'm gonna make a fly for black bass that's much bigger. The old RuPaul. All right. I've got these bait holder hooks. This is about a number, probably a number two, maybe a one-aught. It's not quite what I was after, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and straighten it out. It's a bait. It's a bait hook, not a. A little bit too far. Alright, there we go. And I dropped it. Lucky, cut it out. If I wanted you in here, I'd let you in here. What? Dead gummit dog. Y'all hang on a second. Let me go take care of that dog. Alright, dog can't stand being in a different room than I am. 
Oh, let me get my black thread. There it is. Well, where is it? There it is. And all my junk. I don't see my bench. It's a mess. Alright, this this fly is comprised of a whole lot of different materials, and I never know what it is until I go start tying it. I'm going to flatten those bait holders. Alright. That's a nice strong hook. Normally I'd use a light wire hook, a worm hook. Wide gap, but this will work for today's fly. Alright, we gotta get to the back of the fly. That's where all the good stuff starts. I'm gonna put a little bit of flash in here, not too much. I'm gonna put it in in layers. Just tie some on the back. Let it flow. Alright, let's see. I think I'll throw in some deer hair. A good bunch of deer hair. This will act a little bit like a hook guard. Pull that back. Flash it all down. Oop, there we go. And give it a nice tight. Last one. It's going to be a big old fly, I tell you. Alright, let's throw on a couple of... Where'd my fancy feathers go? I got some of these things that girls tie in their hair. I got thread everywhere. Alright, let's put in a couple of... Let's put in two strands of the purple. Flowing out the back of the fly. Line up these ends. Right on the back. There we go. Cut the excess off. Yeah, I probably ought to take these two. I'll leave that. It'll be good. Let me spin in some of these. A couple of these on both sides. That looks good. That looks good. This, this marabou type stuff flows real nice. This is kind of a throw together. This is not a, an official recipe. It basically, it basically is is what I call a RuPaul because it's very. Uh, flamboyant like most drag queens there you go nice little thing let's see let's put in these two same thing as the others we just let them hang out the end Every time I turn around, a cat comes up here and drags off my feathers and my hair. Alright, there we go. Save those. Those are good palmering things. Alright, we're getting some flow. I'm going to go ahead and put in some blue hair. Some of the longer ones. this I'm telling you this is just just a uh, very quick throw together now what I'm going to do is I'm going to spin that around so that it covers the whole thing just like that and I use the excess material instead of cutting it off I'm using that to build the head and I might even make a deer hair head just kind of depends. I might turn it into something totally different. Alright, let's put in a couple more strands of flash. Let that 
drape back over the top. A couple more. I'm actually just taking a single strand, putting it on there and lashing it down. That puts just a little bit of flash in there. You don't need much, unless the water's really dirty. All right, let's put in a couple of yellow feathers. Actually, what I should probably do is these ones that have a longer... Oh, I got two dark ones. I want to put in two dark feathers. That'll go on top of one of these that's going to be palmered in. So give it a, a spot of yellow. And yellow feathers. We'll take this nice and long one right here. What are you doing, Lucky? What are you doing? Alright, we're going to tie this in. Right back to where that other material starts up. And then we're just going to palmer this in. This will give it a nice yellow necktie. Nice flare. I'm going to use as much of that feather as I can get. This is, what is this? 210 uni nylon so this is extremely strong thread i don't really like i have to use the strong thread because anything less i'll break it when i put too much tension on it hold all that back strap it down we're getting about the right distance there we go nice bright yellow color uh let me see if I got some orange somewhere in here. I got some orange feathers somewhere. Let me see if I can't find them. Hang on. There we go. Look at that. Perfect. All right. We're going to do the same thing with the orange. We're going to take one of these feathers and just palmer it right in front of that yellow. This will most likely resemble a sunfish in their prime breeding colors. There we go. Not quite as much on that one. Alright, we'll cut that off. I'm going to push this back. This thing should run hook down, hook point down, because that's that's the only weight that it has. Like I said, this this thing is getting big. That's what I'm after. All right, I think what I'm going to do. You strap in these two black feathers up on top, the darker ones. Make sure they both end up on top. Boy, I wish I could go over to a pond I know of around here. Actually, I could go over to George's. Try it out on those fish. That's probably what I ought to do. They're not so damn educated like mine. I fish down this pond down the street, good lord. They've seen everything I've ever thrown at them. Of course, they haven't seen this one. Ha. They'd probably be afraid of this thing. Okay, let me kind of take a look at this and see if I might just be able to put eyeballs on it. I guarantee this fly will not fall apart. I'm going to add one more. I have a green one. I have one single solitary green one. And we're going to lay over the top and let it flow back over the top of this fly. Boy, these things will really swim in the water. I mean, they swim. 
these feathers, these long skinny feathers, they just undulate through the water. All right, there we go. We're getting close to a finish. There we go. All right, let's do a little more wrapping on the head. And I'm going to put some eyeballs on it, just for good measure. Alright, there we go. This is a big fly. I have to throw my five weight at it. Actually, I've got my that one I've been using at the dam. My Eagle Claw, nine foot five weight with overweighted line. It's got six or seven weight line on it. That's a beast. That thing is a wears my elbow out, but small price to pay to catch fish. All right, let me go ahead and glue this thread just to make sure it really stays put. That super glue will bind with that thread like nobody's business. That becomes a solid mass. It ain't coming loose. All right, let me find the eyeballs. I'm going to put my biggest eyeballs underneath all this stuff I'm sure somewhere is that that's not it oh I don't know about you guys but I sure am getting sick and tired of COVID hearing about it dealing with it watching people at work have to leave because they got COVID they didn't get vaccinated whatever or did get vaccinated and got it a second time it is really tearing things up. Big blob. There we go. I'm gonna give this thing red eyes. I got these eyeballs. Give this thing a red eyeball. Oh no. Well, that's how it goes. I'll stick it to my finger. Stick my fingers to my fingers. Come on, let go. Ah, ah, there we go. Oh, dang, I did a masterful job of getting that glue on my fingers. It'll stick to that. It probably won't stay on there very long, but it's going to stick. What is a neat looking fly? I like a fly that I can make in just a few minutes. This one took about 10. It doesn't look exactly like from side to side. <laughs> the side that's looking at might look much better. <laughs> Let that dry a little. 